I can't believe I'm saying this, but Konami actually responded to the Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel Season 2 complaints. So this is pretty unlike Konami, they usually don't directly respond to people when they have complaints, but a lot of people on social media were complaining about the Season 2 of Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel, and they did put a notification in the game sort of talking about some of the things that people weren't happy with. So right now if you open up Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel, you can go in here and see what Konami had to say. In today's video, I wanted to read through their response and then also talk about some of the data mined leaks that have happened so far with Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. We have a couple like leaked events, a couple leaked like cosmetic things and stuff like that, so it's going to be pretty cool. So I want to talk about that as well. But let's go through here. We're going to go to the notifications, of course, and it says here update with regarding the new season of ranked duels. So this is where you have to go. When you open this up at the very top, it gives you an update. Let's see what they have to say. Currently in ranked duels, players who have reached platinum rank can obtain rank up rewards for silver tier 4 through gold tier 5 at the beginning of a new season by intentionally losing to duels and getting demoted to gold rank before this season ends. So that part's pretty surprising, right? Because they are addressing that people were talking about that the best way to play this game for gem optimization would be to get to platinum rank 2, not 1, and then D rank all the way down to gold to get more start of season season rewards for season three, which will come up in like a month or whatever. So the next thing it says, to prevent such intentional defeats in competitive play, we are planning to improve the ranked duels systems. Details on the improvement will be announced at a later date. So not a lot of information in regards to what they're going to change with ranked duels, but that is a good thing that they are at least acknowledging it. I mean, that's pretty cool if they're doing that, especially considering the season only started like a day ago, basically. Um, and then it says, in addition, we will send compensation items to players who have ended the January ranked duels with platinum rank and started the new season. So they are not giving us the entire 1700 gems that you miss from starting out at gold five, but they are giving you silver tier four through gold tier five. Now I believe that is 600 ish gems. So that actually is a pretty good amount. Um, maybe not so much to everyone, but it is cool that they are at least acknowledging that people felt a little bit burned because you got punished for doing well in the previous season. Now some people have already complained about this, which is kind of funny. It's a complaint about a fix to a previous complaint. But uh, there are some comments out there from people that say things like, oh, this is going to create a snowball effect. You know, the top players that were already in Platinum, they get some free gems, so now it's even easier to get Platinum next season. But honestly, I mean, 600 gems isn't like a crazy amount. That's not a huge difference. It's more about the thought that counts here. It's that Konami realized that people were not happy with the Platinum 1 experience, so now they're giving you a few extra gems. Personally, though, I do think it is a nice change because it shows that Konami actually does care care about what the player base thinks. Finally, it says we are currently preparing for an item giveaway and appreciate your patience. So I'm assuming that's for everyone, I guess. Thank you for playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. I am extremely surprised by this announcement. I really thought Konami would not address this even a little bit. You know, usually they don't do that sort of thing, but this is awesome and I think it shows that they really do want Master Duel to be good. I obviously realized that my video did not cause this announcement but I'm just excited to see that they did address some of the concerns that the community had. All sorts of people were posting on social media about this, and it's cool that Konami is actually showing that they want to improve the game. At this point, I want to switch to talking about the leaks that people have been able to data mine. I'm not sure if I'm using that correctly. Is data mine a verb? I don't know. But we're talking about some leaks, and I believe that these were on Duel Link's meta website, but we're going to be looking at some graphics that Ready for Duel posted about those leaks. These leaks talk about events, they talk about cosmetics, they talk about different challenges, and I think it really does show that there are a lot of cool things on the horizon for Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. So here is the first page of all of the leaks, and this one's kind of interesting. It talks about specific events, it talks about specific formats. So in the cups section on the left-hand side here, I believe that these would be like limited time events. You have one that's only Xyz monsters, you have one that's only Synchro monsters, you have one that's only Fusion monsters, and you have one that's called Classic that says vintage cards are all the rage. Enjoy an environment that's 
different from standard. Now obviously these are not confirmed, these were data mined, and as we've seen in the past with dual links, sometimes it takes a very long time for these things to make their way into the actual game, but these formats do look pretty cool. I think the classic mode would be very popular. There was also a rarity limit, but it didn't have a description. That probably would be like you can only use one ultra rare or maybe even no ultra rares. That'd be kind of a cool format as well. Moving on to the events section, you can see that it talks about building tournaments inside Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Now I know some of my fellow streamers have been running tournaments in the game. I believe that Coder, MBT, and Farfa have all set up little things where people can play and then they watch their replays and stuff like that and react to them. But this looks to be a better way of doing that and you can have up to 50 players, which is quite a bit. I don't know what the current limit is in Master Duel, but that's pretty cool. And then we have Exhibition Mode, which apparently is going to allow you to use loner decks and you kind of play for medals and stuff like that. Once again, no idea when this stuff is going to make its way into Master Duel or if it'll be in Master Duel at some point. This was just like leaked from the data miners and stuff like that. On to the next page here, we have some cosmetics. So you can see there's some profile icons. You have the Dark Lord Link Monster, I think, the Weather Painter Link Monster, Judgment Dragon, Punishment Dragon, Draco Sack, and Herald of Ultimateness. There's new icon frames apparently in the leaks. You have a bunch of different colors. That's kind of neat. For the pets or the mates, I hate the word mates, but for the mates, I guess, you can see there's some cards that we saw in a couple of the trailers for the game, but also some new ones too. So you have Salaman Great Gazelle. I believe that is White Baking, Instant Fusion, Noble Arms Caliburn, I'm pretty sure, Book of Moon, a Scapegoat Token. I believe the one that looks like it's from Wally -E is that uh, Cybers Normal Monster. You also have uh, that Inceptor Cannon card, I believe. Moki Moki, that one's cool. Shard of Greed, that one's pretty funny. And then some random DDD card for some reason. As far as the monster art goes, which is like what the main menu shows, as well as what your um, like player profile thing shows, you have a couple like meta cards here. You have Dengirsi, you have Shurag, you have Kagari, you have, uh, what is that card called? Mech Knight Crusadia Avermax, and you have the Drytron. Uh, that's actually not the ritual monster. That is the ritual spell card, but it's summoning a ritual monster, of course. Then you have a few others that were apparently mentioned, but not shown for some reason. As far as all this goes, I think all of these cosmetics are great. I really do think the game needs more cosmetics. It shouldn't necessarily be the main focus at this point, because I think there are other aspects of Master Duel that could use improvement first, but more cosmetics, I mean, that's never going to be a bad thing, right? Especially if some of these are like through solo mode, that could be pretty cool. I would guess that like Noble Arms Caliburn is through a Noble Knight solo mode type thing, but we'll just have to wait and see. Finally, we have this third page. So this one shows some more like cosmetic stuff. We have a couple new like sleeves that are pretty nice. I do like the polymerization one, especially the purple like look to it. We have two new dual fields. I can't quite tell from this picture what the dual fields are. They're pretty darn small from here, but you know, it's cool to see new dual fields just in general. You have some new field parts, some new mates base and stuff like that. So obviously there are other things in the game that Konami is waiting to add, but in my experience when it comes to leaks like this, you don't know if they're like right around the corner or if they're going to be like in the game way far away in the future. So we really don't know when these things are going to make their way into Master Duel. Overall, I think that this just shows that Konami does have more content planned for Master Duel, which obviously we new, but these are some really good things. I think people are going to be really excited about them, and for that reason, I do have a lot of hope for Master Duel in the future. Like I said in yesterday's video, I love Master Duel. I've been playing it a lot, and actually I've still been streaming it over on Twitch this morning. I actually streamed for a couple hours, so obviously I really do like this game, but I do want to see it around for a long time, and for that to happen, I think there needs to be a few more content updates really soon. Do you think you'll try out some of these cups? Do you think you'll try out some of these cosmetics? Let me know what you're thinking in the comment section below. I'll see you later though. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.